Good afternoon, guys. Locks and little firearm reviews here today. What's up? Uh, guess what? Gun rant. So, like I always like do my gun rants. I don't really edit or write anything or script anything. I literally just hit the button and well, I come up with a topic first, then I hit the button and then we run with it and see what happens. So today's topic is AR-15 versus. AR pistol pros and cons and what I think like what I prefer so starting off this is my uncle's six Sawyer 516 AR 15 this is a 16 inch barrel so this is a legal length for a rifle this is my 11.5 inch AR pistol by MAS defense this, if you did not have it on a, you no, know, register as a pistol, would be considered an SBR or illegal, depending if you have the paperwork or not. But because it's got a brace and whatnot, and NFA whole, whole bunch of stuff, I'm allowed to have this as an AR pistol. So this is classified as a pistol, not a rifle. So, okay, let's get into it, pros and cons. We'll start from the rear. I like the stocks on a rifle of an AR-15. Compared to the brace, the braces are nice and they are really good and they do just as good, but they are not a stock, you know. So there's going to be that little bit of, uh, I wish it was. But this is the SBM4 brace on my AR pistol. And you know, it does well. It, you know, it goes on my shoulder and you know, it does what it's supposed to to sit, like to suit that purpose. But, you know, it's not a stock. It just doesn't have that feel to it that a stock gives you. You know, it just doesn't conform to your shoulder as well as a stock does in my eyes. And it just feels more solid than when I handle recoil. It doesn't feel as it doesn't feel as flimsy, you know. You know, I can sometimes when I'm shooting this rapidly, I can kind of feel it move around a little bit. But besides that, you know, the stock does, like I said, just as good. So I'm not tripping about it too hard. It just when it comes to stocks and recoil management. AR, the rifle wins that over the AR pistol in my eyes. Uh, buffer tubes, there's nothing special. They're both standard springs. Uh, no, pistol grips, the AR-15, so you can change those out. Let's see, what difference between these two counts can I come? Alright, the bolts. There's nothing special about the bolt, but as... What it is is how it feels and like the recoil you get in an AR pistol versus a rifle. And a rifle, it does the bolt does not slam back to the rear as hard as an AR pistol. And my 11.5 is not as bad as when I had my 10.5 AR pistol. Because when I would shoot that thing, you can feel the significant power coming back of that bolt slamming back to the rear over a rifle. And, you know, it was a question I brought up with several of my friends, like, hey, when I shoot, I can feel it, yada, yada. So, instead of doing a whole bunch of stuff, I just got an 11.5 inch upper, and it helps with that dwell time and that bolt speed coming back. And it's not as bad, but I can feel it recoil a little harder than I do a 16 inch AR-15. But, you know, that's given with a short barrel you're gonna get a little bit more recoil you're gonna get a little bit more gas blowback that's another thing gas blowback out of an AR pistol is more significant than in 16 inch AR-15 in my eyes uh, no when I shoot a 16 inch AR-15 in an indoor range especially you know I can shoot them a lot longer before I feel that gas in my eyes versus when I shoot this I can feel it, you know, after about, I'll say, five, six, seven rounds. I can start feeling that gas, like, start to mess with my eyes a little bit. But, 
outdoors, you know, I really don't notice any difference outdoors. It's just really indoors, and when I'm indoors shooting, do I really notice that? Uh, barrels, well, you know, of course, this is a 16 inch barrel, so your maneuverability of a 16 inch barrel in a close quarter space is going to be limited compared to something like this 11.5 or a 10.5 inch AR upper that where it gives you more maneuverability and you know helps you especially in close quarters which is really what an AR pistol is for is close quarters not necessarily like a 16 inch that may have to be close quarters mid range the long range so it's got a company you know account for all that in the in a rifle whereas a pistol you're not going long range. You're not really shooting 500 yards with this. Uh, 300 yards max, I would say, with this. But that's what it's designed for, close quarters. For close quarters, I always do that. But for close quarters, this hands down. You know, for a truck gun or a car gun, I would take this over the AR-15 any day. You know. Having this really, to be honest, having this AR pistol, I look at a 16 inch AR and I'm just like, man, it's like, do I really need all that extra barrels? Like, no, I don't. <laughs> so I really love having this short barrel. It's like perfect for me. Cause I'm not very big. So like a 16 inch AR is kind of long on me. So this, 11.5 inch AR is just like perfect but that's me and you know that's what I like but if you're long range of course you know like I said you can't use this you know 16 inch would do a lot better uh, for the barrels coming up forward main difference uh, the blast definitely yes even though I have a muzzle break on this the, just the blast when I had a standard A2 flash suppressor, suppressor on here on my 10.5, the same as this on a 16 inch, I would get flash like almost on every round still be a fireball in my face almost every time I fired. Compared it with this, you know, I it's clean. Like I rarely see a flash and you know, all that powder gets to burn up in that extra barrel. Compared to here where you got some unburnt powder and then you know it gets caught up in there and it gets that fireball which is sometimes cool you know it, may, it looks cool in the rain you know everyone thinks I'm cool I think but you do get a lot more blast which is why I got this blast diffuser because trying to fire this muzzle blast muzzle break my bad indoors like I honestly like wouldn't be able to see the target for like some shots it just be blinding me for a second. So I got this blast diffuser from Surefire. Uh, it helps, but it's still blast. It's still a flash, you know. Like I said, it's 11.5 inch barrel. You still got all that, a little bit of unburnt powder from that spent round that's going down. But if I had to pick which one, I, let's say, Someone said you can only have one type of AR-15, an AR-15 in a rifle or an AR-15 pistol. To be honest, I'd probably go with the AR pistol. This to me just feels a lot better. It feels more of what an AR-15 should be in my eyes. Uh, I just, just for me, just being the size I am, how long my arms are, you know, just my size and how I shoot. I love an AR pistol over an AR-15 rifle. Cause even with you know the stock and all that, it just all that extra barrel length out there. I don't need it. This is like icing on the cake right here. So guys, that's my gun rant. Uh, nothing special. Hopefully I didn't bore you to sleep or anything. 
But that's why this is my opinion on AR-15 pistols versus AR-15 rifles. What the pros and cons are in my eyes. Again, um, yours may differ. If you do, please put in the comment box below. I would like to see what your pros and cons of AR pistols versus AR rifles are. But this is my gun rant, and so this is my opinion. And you know, if I get roasted for it, then whatever, I get roasted for it. But it's here, and it's for you guys to watch, and it's also for here for you guys to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that bell notification so when I drop a video, you will be the first ones to know, and you can tell all your friends and be the coolest kid in school. Also, I'm selling shirts on Teespring, so while you're telling your friends, you can wear the shirt to the same channel you're telling your friends. Isn't that awesome? So please go by, pick one up. I would love to see you guys tag me on Instagram in your shirts so I can see you guys and you know I can put rebrand you or whatever it's called on my page and everyone else can see you in your cool shirts and you can be even cooler than the school, man. You be cooler on social media. And everybody knows social media is the only thing that matters nowadays. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. As always, please be safe. Locks and load out.